Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing well today. We are going to be doing a review of another Oud fragrance. This is uh, Hojas by Hind Al Oud. I'm sure I'm mangling the name, but it's the best I can do right now. I'll probably improve as the review goes on. Before we jump into the review, if you'd be kind enough to subscribe to the channel, that would be really awesome and really help boost our reach which we really need to get to get more people to watch what we're doing and subscribe and just be involved in the community we really appreciate you doing that thank you thank you thank you as with many of fragrances that i've picked up recently i watched a video as with many fragrances that i picked up recently i've watched several videos from several different fragrance uh youtubers content creators whatever you want to call them and one is Curly Fragrance, there's Mag Frag or Frag Mag. I, I, you know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of men and women who do this. So this is getting a lot of play. The bottle is freaking gorgeous. Check it out. It lists for 320 bucks, I believe, for 50 ml, small size. The house itself, the uh, Hindal Oud, I'm going to read a few things about the house, Hindal Oud, and uh, the uh, perfume as well. And then we'll jump into actually the, the review, such as it is. Born from a passion for and an obsession with perfumery, Hindal Oud is a unique luxury brand offering the richest quality of perfumes and oils presented in a modern, elegant image. Iconography expresses every individual's identity, offering a collection of engaging perfumes for every man and woman who knows what they want and has always striven to achieve their goals. Hindal Oud presents cultured, sophisticated scents that create the sweet smell of success. Irresistible essences that evoke an air of esteem and leave a lasting impression. Made with the highest quality, natural and rare ingredients from around the world, Hindal Oud perfumes provide the ultimate luxury. Now, this particular fragrance, they say the creator's inspiration, an aura of time where the soul creates a new dimension to reality. Ahojas is a new fragrance that is taking the world by storm. This deep, enticing scent is created with a blend of fig and tobacco, which mingle wonderfully with honey to create an intoxicating aroma. Now, the scent notes that I'm hearing about, the fig, tobacco, honey, that in and of itself really kind of grabbed my attention, I think, in the other reviews. And that was one of the reasons that I decided, let me get a decant of this from, I believe I got this from Scent Split, just to check it out. The sweet white tobacco heart is balanced by the golden autumnal note of honey and the bitter green scent of fig leaves, creating a complex fragrance that will leave you feeling exhilarated. Fragrance notes, figs, tobacco, and honey. The scent, they call it floriental. I've never heard that before. Floriental, does that mean oriental flowers? I'm not really sure. Regardless of the meaning and the flowery language, which is kind of, you know, sort of hard to make sense what they're really trying to say other than that we got a really awesome smelling perfume here. I sprayed some on about five or ten minutes ago and it is dried. I did one spray each on my forearm of both arms and that was it. Along with the spray in the air as well. It's quieted down. It was just kind of had that strong oody sort of scent at the beginning. We're going to do a couple more sprays because this is not as intense as other ouds that I have tried where you do one spray pretty much you're done. So I'm actually going to be a little bit more adventurous. I'm going to spray on my neck. Whoops. Spray on my neck. And then on the back of my, the top of my arms, I guess it would be. Let's do two. So I did it in the crease, on the top, on both sides. So I've got a total of six sprays of this ahojas, ahojas, ahojas. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. But. This list for 50 milliliters, it's about 320 US dollars, assuming you can find it. Some of the scent sites don't have it. They're back ordered and so on and so forth. The two milliliter sprayer, when I picked it up, it's not in stock as I'm reviewing right now. It, you know, it, it fluctuates, it's back ordered. The five milliliter sprayer is 57 
dollars US. So I think the two milliliter was probably about 26, 27 bucks, something like that. I'm not really exactly sure what I paid for it, but it was in the mid 20s. Now it's been kind of hanging out on my body for a minute. Well, actually more than a minute, obviously. I mean, it's a mild Udi scent. I'm going to have to wear this for a while and then come back and talk about it a little bit because it's a very quiet, sort of opening. I'm not really getting a lot of funk to it. It's not, doesn't smell bad. Like some ooze are so strong and so, it's, they're so earthy. And so they almost smell like, you know, composting stuff in the garden. It's very rich and earthy like that. I mean, I don't mind that smell necessarily, but sometimes the ooze can be so concentrated and so intense that for those of us in this part of the world, we're not used to those kind of smells and they can be really off-putting if you're not familiar with it until you sort of build up a not an immunity to it but a, a sensitivity or a you know you get used to it basically i'm going to spritz even more on me and i'm going to come back in a couple hours and we'll see where we're at so i'm going to do the back of the neck back of my hands so it'll be easy enough for me to smell how it's interacting with my body chemistry in this. We've used quite a bit of this juice up in this decant, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. I mean, at some point we'll come back to it because we'll do an oud sort of review ish video comparing a number of different ouds that we seem to really like. And hopefully this may be one of them. We don't know. It's so expensive. It would be nice if it is, but I wouldn't miss not having to spend the money. If you know what I mean, you can see the alcohol shine on the back of my palm. Okay, we are going to come back in a little bit after this settles down and we kind of get a sense of what it's all about. So no flipping. It's been about five hours or so since we applied the Ahoyas Hind Al Oud Eau de Perfume. And oh, it's uh, actually it's extract, uh, not O. It's very, very nice. It has a softer kind of Oudy flavor so to speak. Uh, the, the top notes, I believe, are figs, and not like dried figs, but fresh figs, which have a different kind of smell, clearly. Not as sweet as the dried fruit. They also have what they refer to as white tobacco, which is a sweeter tobacco, apparently. I don't really know much about white tobacco, to be honest with you. Most of the tobacco I know is from smoking cigars and uh, a prior earlier life cigarettes. And then the third item or note that they discuss is honey. And it's a very interesting kind of a smell. You know, the stronger ouds are a little bit off-putting. They're really, like I was talking about earlier, they're very deep and uh, to Western noses, they are kind of, they can be off-putting. They're very strong. It's sort of like some people don't like black licorice. It's sort of the same thing except scent-wise. I'm not saying it smells like black licorice, but it's sort of the same sort of um, love it or hate it kind of a thing. Even though there's no oud specifically in those like three top notes, it's it's got that richness of the oud, but it's really soft. And so you, you smell the figs, the, the flower, so it's a bit sweet at the beginning. And the tobacco, definitely comes through it's it's a vegetal but it's, it's um, very soft it's it's not a scent for everybody but it's i don't think it's such a strong scent that it's going to be really off-putting to a lot of people and it's not the kind of scent that's going to be blaring everywhere it's got a nice longevity i still smell it on myself not strong. Now, I may have become nose blind to it at this point. It's very nice. It's, it's the nicest oud scent that I have tried so far. Now, I have not tried that many, I'll be very honest with you. Maybe only about three or four. But it's really nice. And it, it, the thing is, it's $540 for 50 mLs. So the typical bottle is, what, 3.4 ounces, 100 mLs. So you're talking $1,080, which is more than a little bit ridiculous to spend on some scent. But this is very high-end cologne slash perfume from the UAE. Uh, there's a couple of other scents in their line that I'm going to check out. But it's a rare treat, I think. This is quite nice. 
but it's not cheap. And even the decants, I think I got a two milliliter decant and it was like $27, something like that. So pretty expensive, but it's really, really nice. It's very luxurious. And again, it may be an acquired taste for some people, but it definitely grows on you. At first I was a bit skeptical about it, but it really kind of grew on me and I really like the softening of it. It's got that sweetness, but also it's got the earthiness going along with it. It's really quite nice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, smash that thumbs down button. We just want some interaction. If there's other scents or products you want us to check out or review, please let us know in the comments down below. And if you've tried any of these scents from the uh, Hind Al Oud house, let us know down below. Uh, turn us on to some new scents, please, please, please. Otherwise, don't forget to be kind. It doesn't cost you anything to other human beings and their critters. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling freaking awesome, and we will catch you on the next video. Cheers, everybody. We love you.